Andy Clark looks for some sort of personal hat trick, a winning goal for the third match running. But he takes his place in a side severely weakened by suspension to Robbie Earl, Mick Harford, and Effan Okoku. Vinnie Jones is available, but is not selected. But absenteeism makes a reserve's heartbeat stronger, and there's an opportunity here for Steve Tallboys and Neil Ardley. For Manchester United, it's a fourth away game on the trot, two in the cup and two in the league. Their team is unchanged, with a continuing starting role for Lee Sharp. The match marks Steve Bruce's 300th league game for Manchester United and is the first return to Sandhurst Park a year on for Eric Cantona. He's proved a number of people wrong in that time and deserves credit for that. of Manchester United supporters clearly heard at the kickoff, and uh, we have a touch of winter sunshine to warm us. And in charge is Paul Durkin from Portland in Dorset. Clark. Oh, good try. Well, what a confident Peter Schmeichel. Knew it was going to be too high. But even so, nicely inside and on Clark's left. And no hesitation. But just watch Peter Schmeichel. Too high, don't need to go for that. Four up and two in midfield at the moment. Toll with Perry. Tall boys who turned it away. Seem to have one or two cameramen here at this match. Almost need their own enclosure. A lot of those lenses pointing into the sun, though. Little take back. Oh, that ran kindly. And I'm not sure that Alan Kimball was quite as confident as it appeared. Both he and Giggs had to watch it go by. Nice touch, Cantona. Force for running keen. Good ball, Giggs. But, and here's Sharp. Turn over the top by Chris Perry. Cole in the six-yard area. Five to come from further back. Two in for the same. Here's Erwin. Cantona. The goalkeepers. That's Michaels. Bruce is the player down. And clearly a nasty cut on the eyebrow. And he got caught then. And he got caught by an arm. Look at the uh, elevation here. And it was the arm that made contact first. Dean Holdsworth, the other player involved. It's not a movement of the arm, but again, the arm was leading. But it has to be said that in an earlier match at Ellen Road, a player was sent off because the elbow made contact. Getting fulsome applause. Nasty knock. And David Beckham is the Manchester United substitute with Roy Keane moving from midfield to defence. Giggs. Good running by Beckham. He was well found too. But Beckham not able to take it quite in the stride. And that gave the opportunity for the block. Five in the area. Lee Sharp just outside. In comes Butts. Good stop. He got a hand going left. But Butt met it well. And 
Neil Sullivan across. Strong header. Just got a touch and onto the post. Owen. Perry's header. Clark. Gale. Into the last five minutes of a half in which Manchester United have had so much more of the play but have really only tested the goalkeeper once and can't look back and say, well, we had this chance, that chance and the other chance. Cantona. Lovely turn away from the Norwegian. That's a super ball to Owen. And a good challenge by Gale. Did well, did Marcus Gale. He doesn't need telling that, does he? Posse of four to come from around the penalty spot. Erwin. Cole. Well, the wall has bisected the six-yard area more than once in this match at Wimbledon Z. There was no real challenge. I think the goalkeeper should have come out to claim that. Cole claimed it instead, and Manchester United lead one to nothing. Beckham. A kick against Gale. Ooh, blew rather too strongly against Beckham. Four waiting. The curl! And he did well to get that out of harm's way. Stephen Tallboys really difficult there was a whip and a curl on this and he was challenged by Keane and he just managed to turn it away from him but came in for it Steve Bruce making his way to the dugout he's had 10 stitches in that wound in his forehead of headers from Neil Ardley. Goal. Sharp. It's outside. It's outside. Referee spot on by not making it spot on. Giggs or Beckham? Beckham. Oh! And it's in, I think, finally by Perry. Keane will claim it. Fine free kick, over the top of the wall, came back off angle of post and crossbar. Perry went for it. I think it's his head, it is his head. It was an own goal by Perry. But Keane certainly wanted to claim it. Now the Manchester United dressing room will be a very comfortable place to be during the half-time interval. Andy Cole getting the first, 41st minute. And the second, really, an own goal by Chris Perry. View from behind the goal. Curls away from Sullivan and bounces down and really looks as though it crossed the line. There'll be some debate about who's going to claim that. Perry won't want it, that's for sure. Half-time, Wimbledon nil, Manchester United two. Substitutions. Manchester United getting their reward for unrelenting pressure, it might be said, at the end of the first half. It's Perry. Loses out to Cantona. Reeves covering Cole in the middle. And it's given as a deflection and not a pass back. Referee shook his head. Clark. Holdsworth. It's 2-1. Good 
Beautifully taken by Dean Holdsworth. But the flag is up on the far side. It's not going to count. It looked too good to be true for Holdsworth. And it was. Took it beautifully around. But there was no player out of the picture to uh, the far side of the goal as we look to play him on site. The goal does not stand. Cantona, Giggs far side, Cole in the middle, Beckham now square. Clark. Positive run by Clark. Good tackle, Gary Neville. But still a good sight to see Clark prepared to go it alone like that. It's very hard for a Wimbledon player to hear such support for the opposition. Len Hudson. Holdsworth. Over the top by Gale. Bit of an inquisition going on in the 18-yard area of Manchester United with Peter Schmeichel and a few words to say. It. There was a bit of sleeping going on here that allowed Holdsworth to get in what I think was a shot. But it came off the uh, head of Gale and just over the top. Arm um, up in the challenge. Mm, just about stationary, but it barely. Cunningham. Ben Hudson. Finding a bit too much room in the box, I would have thought. Wimbledon players for Alec Ferguson's comfort. It's a corner. A little bit of a casual air at the back. Kept in, amazingly, and still. Good tackle by Butt. Hardly. Interesting cross, Gale! Well, they all stood and watched, and suddenly Gale realised he could reach it. Well, an element of fortune in the build-up of that goal, it led a charmed life on the goal line, came off the corner flag, but the cross was testing, three watched, and Gale scored. Kimball and Cantona Beckham Cantona <laughs> class from a mature Frenchman and a young Englishman lovely ball in and Cantona guarding it home pass and return between the two and Cantona can enjoy the moment. Jason Yule. His eighth appearance. Scored on his debut spectacularly against Southampton. Lovely play by Giggs. Feel the handball. Not given. Well, one back by Leonardson. Gale. Rather brushed off Neville. And look who came back to the rescue. Bit of a virtuoso performance now. Cole needs so many touches. And Cantona points out where the pass should have been made. And it wasn't to him, but to Giggs. bit the Irishman oh it's a bit short well stretched 
Well scored. Jason Yule. Suddenly the smiles come back on Wimbledon faces. Wasn't a good header by Keane. Jason Yule did really well. Cantona. Oh. Sublime. Beckham's made the run. Ball wasn't released early. Here's Cole. Cantona is far side to the left. This is he. Cole. Giggs. It's a penalty. Uh, does he look embarrassed, Cunningham? It's going to be Cantona. Uh, he'd put money on it, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, you would. Oh, uh, there surely can be. No question, the past has become the past. His return to Selhurst Park has been an afternoon that Eric Cantona has thoroughly enjoyed. And perhaps the last clearance uh, offside, so maybe not. Again at the back, and then Hudson. Finder got the last touch. Maybe it was the goalkeeper. It's corner. Flick back by Gale. Fine save. Full stretch, Peter Schmeichel. Thought about coming to claim it initially and backtracked really quickly and uh, just got fingertips. Leonardson. Wimbledon battling to the end. Clark. Keane. Absolutely no doubt who will get all tomorrow's headlines. Very happy to return to Selhurst Park for Eric Cantona. And at times, it was sublime. Manchester United's frailty in a makeshift defence and Wimbledon spirit made it a very interesting second half. But Manchester United, looking back, always looked likely to get the three points. Two of their goals came from Cantona. The others from Cole and a known goal by uh, Perry, unless Beckham manages to get that changed. Scores for Wimbledon, Gale and Yule. Final score, after some good entertainment at Selhurst Park, Wimbledon 2, Manchester United 4. Alec, how much of that did you enjoy? I enjoyed a whole lot of it. It's, um, it's always an enterprising game at Wimbledon. It's, it's one of these games that it can keep you in an eighth edge all the time because... Uh, They've great team spirit, and although the talk of three players we're missing today, they can still uh, gender a, that kind of a cause that makes you have to play for your money, you know. But I felt in the first half particularly we were excellent. If you had started as you played in the second half, you might have had a totally different match here. Absolutely. I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't know whether we just whether the players froze a little bit because it was the Manchester United and things like that. But, but as I said before, we had to wait till we were 2-0 down before we actually showed what we could do. And uh, he comes.